Hey Bears, Eric here. We have a video from Melanie Mack here where she's pretending to care about Asian people because of the new Assassin's Creed game. We're going to watch a very short snippet of this so you can kind of understand what her overall point is here. And then I'm going to share another clip for you that shows that she's a complete hypocrite. Uh-oh, Ubisoft went woke. Oh, wait, they've been woke. Ha! <laughs> so in an unsurprising, I'd say turn of events, but it's it's not a turn of events for Ubisoft. It's just kind of par for the course with Ubisoft now. They have inserted a black protagonist in feudal Japan. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this video. So they've talked about their next Assassin's Creed game. It's in Japan. Aww. You've got two protagonist options. One of them is a female Japanese woman, and the right. other one is a black samurai. Okay. Uh, they're trying to justify this, saying, oh, yes, okay, this is a real person. Oh, this is what's going on. There's just so much to unpack here and what's wrong with this. And the biggest issue is the fact that um, they're doing this for the wrong reasons. They're not doing this out of an organic story or something like that. Mm. Uh, those of us who, and, and they're always going to cry. So you're going to provide proof of that. You're going to show us something on screen that says that they did this for X, Y, Z reason and not totally just something made up in your mind. So you can make a video about it, right? <laughs> that's what you're going to do. Oh, wait, that's not what you're going to do. I also want to say that um, Ubisoft is not a great company when it comes to consumers. So this is not a defense of Ubisoft. This is me exposing the hypocrisy of the people in this space. She's acting like she cares about the fidelity of Japanese culture. She acts like she cares about whether or not the samurai represents the Asian community. Like she's acting as if these are things that she cares about. Um, and she's totally virtue signaling. She's virtue signaling about this because this is the hot topic. And now it is time for all of these uh, content creators on the, the griff side of YouTube to run to the defense of Japanese people, to run to the defense of the Asian community, because now all of a sudden it's time to play the game about which one is worse uh, when it comes to them, because they always do this. If there is a situation where they have to pick between marginalized communities, if it's a black person or if it's a gay person, they'll just flip a coin and go, okay, who am I defending today? Typically the, on the scale of their hatred, Gay is worse than than uh, than being black, but they'll typically go with like whichever one is the more popular narrative within the grift tube space. But here's the thing: you would say, "Well, Melanie Mac obviously cares about Asian people, right?" Obviously, Eric, you're wrong. Melanie Mac is such a SJW for uh, Asian representation, Japanese representation, that there's no way on earth that she would say that other times Asian people have been put into games or movies or whatever, that they were playing oppression Olympics, right? You would say there's no way that could happen. And, and you would be wrong. So in the previous video, she was talking about a person that actually existed being put into a game. So this is a person, uh, a samurai that actually existed. We know that this person was a real person. This is her talking about a fictional character in comic books, a character that can be anything they really want that character to be because it is a complete work of fiction, 100% made up. Let's see what she has to say about this. So Harley Quinn is... Asian now, apparently, which I'm kind of confused because I thought mm. Asian was white on the oppression Olympics, like they're white adjacent. So pretty much white because of privilege or something like that. I've so now Asian people are privileged on the oppression Olympic scale. So I guess you don't have to run to their defense, right? You don't have to run to the defense of Japanese and Asian people because on your, according to you, they are white on the oppression Olympic scale, Melanie Mack. This is what I'm talking about with these folks. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. It's lit This video is literally six or seven days ago. So six or seven days ago, when it comes to like a completely fictional character like Harley Quinn being adapted and changed for something else, then all of a sudden Asian people are privileged because they are white on the oppression scale. But now we start talking about Assassin's Creed in this game, and all of a sudden, because a real-life Black character is in the game, now you have to run to the defense of Asian people, because now they're no longer privileged on the oppression Olympic scale. You guys are all hypocrites. Every single one of y'all. You just are. You just are. This was just a week ago, Melanie. Just one week ago, you were calling uh, Asian representation privilege.
And now you're acting as if there's an issue when a real life black character in a game is represented in, in a game full of Japanese people. That's all I got. That's all I got.